solo gamers, welcome to Solo Quest. I'm Ed and today I want to show you an unboxing of Viticulture Essential Edition. Now I just got this uh, in the mail a while ago and I, uh, I wanted to, uh, I saved it because I wanted to record the unboxing and show you guys what's inside the box. Um, I'm really pumped for it because I'm a huge fan of, uh, of Scythe. I haven't played another, any other Stonemaier games, just Scythe, so uh, everyone says this, this game is, uh, is amazing solo. Uh, so yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to uh, playing it. Um, you, there will be content for it on the channel later on. So if you're uh, uh, curious about Witty Culture, uh, hang on, because there's going to be some, uh, some content on it, some playthroughs. Um, so yeah, before we do that though, we gotta unbox it. So let's uh, let's take a look at the box first. So it's a, it's an unusual box because it uh, it has an unusual size. Let's put it that way. Um, the, it's not uh, it's not um, not as big as our regular uh, board game box. It comes in this I don't know how to put it. It's more of a uh, of almost a square, not quite. Um, so yeah, you gotta. You got your cover here, not an amazing cover, but it's uh, it's fine for what it is. You've got your your sides here, so you can put it uh, either start it horizontally and you can have it like this, or you can just leave it vertical vertical on your um, on your shelf like this. Okay, so it. Uh, I like it when games uh, give you that uh, that option when the uh, the sides have both have options for both ways. Uh, I personally store my games on horizontally, uh, mainly because of tokens. If I do it vertically, it's just a mess when I open the box, so I prefer just leaving it horizontally. But hey, it's fine either way. Um, so yeah, this is the the back. Very simple, um, very simple, very straightforward stuff. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look inside. See what we got inside our box. All right, let's try not to mess the box up. Okay, cool. Let's unwrap it. All right, and here we go. Okay, so this is the box without without the glare in it. It actually look, it, it it actually looks better without the uh, the plastic. Yeah, it actually it's not uh, it's better than it looked at first. The artwork. So let's get it open. Now I don't have the um, it mentions here. Uh, the uh, the second edition, uh, so plus several announcements from Tuscany selected by Uwe Rosenberg. Big fan of Uwe's games. I like them a lot. Um, I don't have uh, Tuscany Essential Edition, but I will be adding it to my collection. And when I do, I will also do an unboxing for it. Okay. Uh, my first playthrough of Viticulture that I will um, show you guys will not have the uh, the Tuscany it's just going to be the base game and when I get the Tuscany I'll just I'll do another playthrough with that content as well okay but until I have it let's uh, let's see what's in uh, in our base game here so two plastic bags to put our tokens I believe okay thank you very much it's appreciated this I guess is our um, player mats or at least that's what I'm assuming. So available workers. This is uh, I'm not sure. Small seller, medium seller, large seller. I guess is where this is where we store our wines. Um, okay, so an area for our grapes. Our fields here. Okay. Okay, it's a very uh, traditional looking uh, artwork. I guess it's uh, it's it's well suited for the theme, I would say. So I'm assuming these are the player mats. I'm not sure, but yeah, they, they seem they seem like it. Okay. By the way, I just noticed. Uh, so it's this is in English. You can see when you plant a vine, gain one 
uh, of whatever this is. If you flip it, it seems uh, there is also a sp it's Spanish on the other side, so it's a multi-language version, I I guess. So our a few tokens here. They are not very impressive looking either. I'm going to be honest. Okay. So one, two, and five monies. Okay. These are our money tokens. Now this looks like the um, the playing board. Okay. Let's unravel it. All right. There you go. It fits perfectly on camera. Awesome. Okay, so artwork is uh, pretty much the same. It follows the same uh, same look of the player uh, mats. Pretty, uh, it seems like a uh, worker placement. I really like it. This is a big plus for me. I like it when the, uh, the board itself is sort of a map and where you place your pawns is the exact, like the places. Uh, it's not some abstract thing. No, it's like a top view um, of an area and you're placing your workers on, on those buildings or, or those actions that are being done in the board. So I like that. That's really immersive and, and it's great for a theme. So that's a big plus for me. So yeah, this gets a thumbs up. I like it. It's not huge, which is also good because sometimes, uh, yeah, this is just in Spanish. Or if it, this isn't Spanish, I apologize too. But it, it does seem Spanish. So this is the uh, the rule book, I believe. Yep, rule book right here. Okay. There you go. Now, what do we have here? Seems like a player aid. Rules, summary and reference. Thank you. I love it when games uh, have one of these. Either player aids or reference sheets. Rule summary. These are super handy. So this is a big plus as well. Okay. And yeah, this is what's inside the box. Uh, it's probably my fault that it's a little uh, chaotic inside. So we have these decks right here, which I'm not sure what they're supposed to represent, but I'll open it and show you guys. Just give me a second. Okay. There's this one. I don't know if this is uh, the Automa deck or what this is. There's this one. Okay. And this one. I will uh, I'll remove the plastics. Give me a second and I'll show you all, all of the decks without the plastic because it, it's, the glare is horrible. Give me a second. Hey, so I'm back. Plastic is unwrapped. Uh, let me show you the decks. Now I'm not sure what they, they, they each do, but uh, we have this deck here which uh, I know there's a Momo and a Papa. I think this might be the, yeah, there's a Momo and the, the Papas. Um, I'm guessing uh, these are different. I'm not sure if they're characters or what they are, but there's quite a few of them. Okay, very classic artwork. Okay, and uh, oh, Martin. <laughs> Is this Morton from the uh, <laughs> from the Automa? It might be. Um, and then there's Mamas here as well. Okay, quite a few. Not sure if these are opens that you play against or what they're supposed to represent. <clears throat> then there's this deck right here. Um, pretty simple cards. Ah, okay. So this is the Automa deck. Okay, it has this uh, this back right here. Okay. This one I have no idea what uh, what it is. I'm not really sure. Sold. Huh. I'm guessing this is stuff you put on your fields, perhaps. And then there's uh, these little decks here. Oh. 
sorry. These little uh, decks, surveyor. Okay. So yeah, I li I like uh, you know this uh, this artwork. It looks good on small cards. It doesn't look that good on big stuff, but I I like it on on the small cards. It looks good. Uh, then there's this one, which I have no idea what it is either. Crusher, benefactor, benefactor, queen, harvester, professor. No, it reminds me a bit of Agricola, where you had those occupations. It it seems a little bit. Kinda like that. I'm not sure, but there's quite a few of them. Okay, to try out, I guess. Uh, then there's this little deck here. Seems like it's some sort of uh, either, yeah, these are kind of grapes, I think. Type of grapes. Pignon, yeah, I guess it's uh, from Pignon Noir. Syrah, yeah, these are um, wine, uh, types of wine or, or of grapes that uh, that you make the wine with, yep, Cabernet Sauvignon, okay, cool. I'm not a great uh, knower of wines, I drink my wine now and then, so I kind of recognize those, uh, those names. Okay, and uh, lastly, in terms of decks, we have this, which I have no idea what it is either. Seems like uh, maybe it has to do with those cellars, or, or maybe not. These are barrels and a guy with a boat. So yeah, artwork is pretty much the same. It just changes how many barrels are in the image. So okay, so apart from that, there's uh, then there's tokens. And I'm guessing it's, uh, it's a set for each color. So there's yellow, blue, green, there's purple. Uh, and there's orange, so I'm just going to get and oh and white as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five uh, sets. So let me take them out and show you. These seem to be um, so. This is a little. There's a house and another house. This is a chicken, or so it seems, a tree, a mill, and a bottle here, and this I have no idea what it is, okay, and then there's this bag, which has pretty much the same stuff, okay, there's a worker, a worker, a worker, Okay, so these are your tokens, the ones you'll be using. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Then there's these little markers. These are just beads, transparent beads. Not sure what they're used for. And then there's this, which I have no idea what you use it for. So it seems like a gray worker and a yellow, um, yellow grape. Which, yeah, no idea. But they're in here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it does have an insert, which is awesome to uh, keep everything packed in and, uh, and organized in the box. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is what you'll get in Viticulture if you, if you buy it. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the um, unboxing. And uh, I hope it was useful to uh, help you decide if you are interested, if it's worth it. Um, Wait for uh, the playthrough if you want some more information on the game. It's going to be up uh, sometime in the future. So yeah, with that, I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.